Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Joycelyn Binui, a content creator based in Duala, Cameroon. Yeah, so today guys, we have Gwendolyn Hala again on the channel. Yep, yep. And today we are going to be talking about gender roles as concerns the finances of the family. Gender roles in family finances. Yeah, yeah. very so, important. Ma'am, can you just introduce yourself for the viewers who have not seen you before? My name is Gwendolyn Halley and my channel is Health and Lifestyle with Halley. On my channel, we talk about health, whether it's menstrual health, sexual health, men's health, women's health, hygiene. Hygiene. We talk about uh, business, culture, whether it's from weddings, lifestyle in general, Very rich. and a lot more. Very rich please, 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 please check my channel, subscribe, switch on the, not the notification bell and stay tuned for a lot more juicy stuff. Yeah, so today guys, as I said before, we are going to be talking about gender roles as related to the family's finances. The role of the wife and the role of the husband as concerns the family finances. How you manage your family finances. Does it mean that your husband brings what he has, places it on the table, and you the wife, you bring what you have, you place it on the table, you guys calculate it, allocate it this for this allocate this for this and then you give your husband both of you your husband takes his own share of what he has to handle his personal things and you take your own share of what you hand you use to handle your own personal things and then that for the family is that how you do it or maybe you guys have shared responsibilities that okay the husband takes care of this the husband takes care of that and the wife takes care of this and the and that yeah or how do you do it it is a question guys so please kindly go to the comment section and leave us a comment about this video about this video topic so today we are going to be sharing our own opinions as consent the uh, management of the family's finances so, yeah. for me I believe in being open from the beginning about your finances, about how much you earn, about how much you save. Now, if your marriage has been in a point where you were not transparent with financial things from, from the, the beginning, it's going to be very difficult for you to apply anything. For me, I believe that a couple should have four bank accounts. accounts. Okay, tell us. I should have mine. Yeah. My husband should have his. Yeah. We should have an account where we put a percentage of our money in for bills and everything okay and also the next one is that we stock up money for future projects now a lot of people will be asking me would there be two signatures to each account Accounts? yes to the accounts that we have uh, uh, for the for the percentages that we're putting in for the bills and everything for the one that we are doing as savings for my personal account I don't think that he needs to have the uh, uh, password to eat if I decide to give him fine, you know, like I'm hiding. The reasons why I always believe that a woman and a man should have separate accounts. As a woman, you have your family responsibilities, so responsibilities. Your personal responsibilities. You have your far cousins. That you need to take care of oh, without yes. even the knowledge of your husband. It's not everything yes. that your husband must know. You have to give, <laughs> you, I have to give my cousin who will come and ask me, my child, this is what a child, maybe probably out of wedlock. Or even members of his family can members also come family, to you for help. Yes. And you we'll just go ahead help. And, and help them. Thank you. Yeah. And there are little, little things that I can do. This is for me. This is what I think should be done. But unfortunately, <laughs> that is not what happens. I have met a lot of women who have said that their money is their money, their husband's their money, money is their husband's their money. money. Is their money. Exactly. <laughs> Most Africans will say that the husband's money is the family's money. Meanwhile, the wife's money is her, money. Is her personal money. Mm -hmm. In our society <clears throat> now, the way things are evolving as wives, yeah, let us make sure that we also contribute a, a my own opinion. From the start of your relationship or before marriage, the both of you should already have a financial plan yeah. such that at the end of the month, you know that, okay, the husband is going to take care of this, he's going mm -hmm. to take care of that, sure. and the wife is also going to take care of these parts. That's what I believe. That part of bringing the money together, putting it on the table and sharing it like this, 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 this person takes i don't really believe in it guys because there are times that maybe at the end of the month what you received last month is not even going to be the same as what you're going to receive this month because sometimes taxes also come in if you say that you're going to bring in this table amount i don't <coughs> think it's really going to be the same every month and responsibilities to every month the value, the value yeah. so for me i believe in sharing the family responsibilities such that you know that okay this is what i am supposed to do and you prioritize what you're supposed to do for the family 
at the end of that month yeah, yeah so and in most cases you see that there are even women who manage the finances of the family nowadays because they are more capable and they are able mm -hmm. to keep money they are, they are more capable of planning of multitasking more than men yes if you have a, a wife who is financially responsible yeah because there are also some women out there what, that when you give money? them money they are just going to spend it anyhow yeah. and at the end maybe the kids will be starving they're not going to have food to eat yeah. they are not going to have shelter because maybe she hasn't paid the house rent at least women for us yeah. out there watching this video let us work hard to be very financially responsible because we are supposed to be the managers of our home at the end of the month okay the man already knows what he's supposed to take care of it's either he goes ahead and takes care of those things or he gives the money to the woman to take care of that because she is going to <coughs> sit down now and say okay this is what i'll remove money for house rent i'll remove money for bills i'll remove money for the kids stuff i'll remove money for this or that and all of that yeah and i know that most women always come in they always come in normally a man is supposed to be the financial provider when it comes to money you know the man is supposed to be the I'm laughing provider because of i know some people who are watching yeah. now will just be like mm. <laughs> yeah i know that i've okay. not seen a, 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 a husband no in, the, in the husband in the market doing shopping yeah because he doesn't want to give money i know <laughs> right but, okay saying that saying that do you know last month when i went shopping most of the time i go shopping with my husband he comes because he comes to help me carry the things so last month while we were shopping i saw a man a man was the one doing the shopping guys i just told him that baby it looks like this man can be a selfish man why is he the one shopping for his family buying this kind of stuff for the kids why is he the one shopping for the family doing this kind of huge shopping where is the wife he told me that let me not say that because there are some women who are not financially responsible that if you give yep, them that money you're true. not going to see anything yeah please for us women let us be financially responsible and plan our fi our family finances well so that in the future mm. we're not going to suffer i'm just going to give us some few tips that will help us better manage the finances yeah. of our family number one you need to prioritize what is very important for this month to do we will always know that if you're still living in a renter, if you're still <coughs> renting, you know that your house rent is supposed to be a priority. You know that food money for the house is supposed to be a priority. What are bills? What bills. bills is supposed to be a priority? Because you cannot be living in this generation without water or without electricity mm -hmm. or without uh, cooking gas. Yeah, and then the, that is budgeting. You need to budget, allocate money for all of that. And then the next thing is that you make sure that you keep if you're not able to have if you're not in position to have a uh, health insurance please always make sure that you keep money for health especially when you, you have, have kids, kids. Oh, because yeah. kids will always surprise you like yesterday <coughs> in the morning we were rushing to the hospital with our kids the previous day they were very fine and the next mm -hmm. day in the morning we had to rush to the hospital so imagine that you're in that position when you're mm -hmm. not able you don't have anything you have no savings, like to yeah. even take them to the hospital to pay consultation and start their treatment and all of that so let's always make sure that we keep money for health we, if we're not able to have health insurance but health insurance it, it's really so good mm -hmm. it's advisable and then for the last point i also say that let's make sure that we save and invest for the future yeah make sure that we save there are so many forms of savings nowadays you can save by keeping your money in your bank accounts but that mm, you always be tempted to, yes. you always be tempted to go and remove that money yeah. and spend it when problem comes problem not the finish as they always say in africa you can also save through njangis that's the best means of savings because there is no way that you will ever go back to that money except you have actually picked the njangi or you have chopped the njangi as we say in yeah, Cameroon. Some people who are watching don't know yeah. what you mean by njangi. You have to explain to them what njangi is. Okay, njangi is when a group of people come together and they have a particular amount that each mm -hmm. person contributes and at the end of the <coughs> day one person goes away with a total sum of money and then the next time another person goes away and just like that till, the, till their turns finish. Yeah. So some people who are watching us now like this, who have been duped by their spouses, eh? Because they had sharing accounts. My sister, what are we going to advise them now? Because the thing yeah, is, yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, I will say people, this. People, this. These things that we're saying are not applicable to every home. That is why I started by asking the question that, how do you manage the finances of your home? 
how do you and hobby manage the finances it, of your home? It should, because be, it should be the foundation depends. of the marriage. Yeah, it depends. Mm-hmm. Because there are some husbands too who are not financially responsible. Then maybe they will have their money and then they will hide sure. it. And there are some women also who also have their money and they will hide it. And maybe you will not even know how much they earn, yes, how sure. much... Yeah, things like how, that. How are you talking about that a family can be putting their budget together, that they are going to do this project, and you just realize that an alert has tripped, all the money has vanished, Gone. or when you are going there, let me say if you're not connected to the internet, when you go there, you find out that the, that the account has been empty. Account that you have been saving for your children's future, yes. or for future for the unknown. You realize that your spouse has used it without your consent, knowledge. without your consent, or without even informing you. But, I'll, I'll but the thing is that, for me, if you know that you have never been transparent with your spouse from the beginning of finance your their, their relationship yeah. don't go into this this strategy of saving for the joint unknown. account joint account, account. <laughs> exactly bring on to the, do what you can do with your own money in the house and leave your own for the future for the for the future of your kids for the unknown of your life as well exactly. because what is what are I've seen many people who have been stranded because I trusted this man with my money but the thing is that we could see the red flag when we were dating you know. When we're dating, true. yes, that's true. it's just that we wave away these things. When you see no somebody who is stingy, who is funny with money, you can see those you red flags. Really detect it. No, we see them, but it's just that no, we ignore no. it because Masa, love, 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 love. You want to get married. Love, yes, you want to get married. But when you enter there, you think that marriage, marriage changes nobody. Exactly. Nobody changes with marriage. The re- it's it's a, it exposes you. The it more. amplifies the character. It amplifies, well, yeah, if you use, use the right. I will give an example. If you're a fornicator, when you get married, you'll be a trained <laughs> adulterer it's not going to change yeah yeah you are going to be so good at what you do now so the character that you play or the way you treat your you're spouse to amplify it yes in marriage. if you are that kind of man that you know that i'm the one to take care of the family to this and you're constantly giving your girlfriend or your fiance money just to support her support her it will not change when you get married though that's what he'll be doing but if he's that kind of one that you have to be asking, you have he's like that with no money. I don't know that it's think he's not aware of the fact that he was response. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. He's always forgetting this thing. <laughs> and and I also like to add that in my way. Okay. In some some cases, right? There are some women who earn more than, than their men, husband, than their than their, hus- mm-hmm. than their, than their, their husbands. husbands. Yeah. yeah. So in this case, I don't know. The woman I'm sure is actually supposed to contribute more to because I believe that a person who earns more should contribute more. You cannot expect that okay, my husband is earning more than I earn, and then you'll be expecting that both of us should bring 50-50. Okay, let me give my own opinion. The person who earns more should contribute. Let more. me give my own opinion. If yeah. I'm earning five hundred thousand francs CFA a month, and my husband earns one hundred and fifty. A month or a hundred thousand francs CFA a month. When the end of the month reaches, he is supposed to be the provider of the household. He is the priest of the home. He is the head. When they say you are head of the home, it comes with responsibility. Now, if he removes from that one hundred thousand francs and gives me thirty thousand, I say this is money for the house. Then for me, he says this is five thousand francs for you to do your hair or do your nails, do your nyanga. In my mind, I said this is a responsible man. Yeah. If this man had more money, he will give you more. He will give me more. Exactly. But if he just says I'm not working much, he doesn't provide. Have, he, he doesn't, doesn't give do, from the little effort. he has. He has yeah. He's not going Meaning to give that you. Even if he has, he much, will not give you. Not going to give. So all those things, when it comes to but the thing about them, I have seen. I have a family relative who she earns 800,000 francs CFA to 900 a month and the husband is just doing pointage. What do you mean by pointage? Mm-hmm. If he, this is that he goes here, he gets small work, they give him maybe 10,000 francs, mm-hmm. go to 15,000 francs. And she told me that <clears throat> even with the little money that she gives him, he cannot, when he's buying stuff, he doesn't buy her own. Oh my God. That means that he, she sees him with new things all the time. Mm-hmm. Either a new pair of shoe, new pair of shirt, new pair of this. But the guy does not. That means he's a greedy man. Yes. So you can tell. Oh my from God! In that case, uh, to manage the finances of the family is going to be a headache. So her so, so she is very protective of the this thing. Now the car that she has, she's the one who bought, but he drives it more than her. So even whenever he, he tells her that drop me off somewhere. I want to do this. He'll turn and tell the wife that I don't. There's no petrol in the car. But she'll be like, okay. In her mind, she's like, but when you have a place to go. With the car, you have petrol. petrol. There's, there's, there's money for petrol. So you see, you can already tell the mindset of that kind of guy. And I'm telling you, those things show 
when you are dating or when you are and in that case, that person, I'm telling you that the idea of a joint account is not going to work. It's not going to work. Not going because to presently work. she tells me that she has a separate hidden account. The house, everything that she that they have as a bed like that is land or it's a house that they have built, came, she bought it under her name. So in that kind of thing, she's not looking at the man like, because no matter what she had tried to make the man be, mm. because she would even take money, 200,000 francs, give to the spouse, okay, start a company and be doing this. After some time, they, you know, you will not get to do anything profitable. Mm, so yes, yeah, so you got to understand that with that kind of man, even if I'm any more, I'm yeah. supposed to prudent over my money. Yeah, that's true. So if that depends exactly. on that's why we mm, say it is not applicable in every in case. In every case. So you just look at what you have, look at your your relationship, and do what is applicable to you. Do what works yeah. for you. Yeah. And one of the and they also say mm, that they're when when in your in your marriage, right? Let me say, if you guys are going to buy a piece of land, they always advise because one never knows. They always advise that when they are they are writing the name on the land certificate, always make sure the the land documents always make sure that they write yes. Mr. This 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 and, and Mrs. Mrs. Yes. This this this. Don't just write Mr. and Mrs. This. Because that Mr. and Mrs. can always be, maybe tomorrow he, he gets married to that yeah, person, to another person out. The, pers yes. the second wife is still going to be his Mrs. Mm -hmm. So always make sure that your names are written out mm -hmm. rightly. Yeah. And then also, there's also this thing about where, apart from what we have just discussed, there's also this thing about when you, for the unknown, people's uh, relationships are different. Yeah. There are people who keep a lot of secret accounts to a certain point that it becomes a pitfall. Or let me say it comes a disadvantage to the family. Let's okay. Let me take your example. If I'm married today and I have a secret account, my husband has a secret account. If something happens to my husband, or he is paralyzed, or he passes on, do you know that all the savings he has been saving will be tied down in the bank exactly. or buried and somewhere? It, and there will, it will not be possible for you to bring it and help him. Yes. Yeah. So even if you don't trust your partner because of his carelessness or because he's irresponsible have one person, person that like a sister yeah. a, a mother exactly. who knows, knows about your savings that as you see this is my child's savings if something happens to me exactly. blah, 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 this is where you come and take this money i put you next of king when you're writing your next of king somewhere make sure the person is aware that the person is next of king and it's a secret. Get your sister, your brother, who understands, who is matured and well learned to be the next of kin. So you don't have your husband's savings hidden and blocked, and a bank is getting you charged. The bank will never give you that money exactly. because you have no proof that you're never yeah. next of kin. Yeah. You, do not, you don't even know that there was money in that account. And the bank will never leave and come and tell you that your husband was saving money in our, in our bank. Exactly. It's never going to happen. Exactly. So, guys, that is advice for you move forward yeah so please always take and do what works well for you make for sure that you yeah. budget mm -hmm. make sure that you prioritize make sure that you save for the unknown yeah. make sure that you invest for the future yeah. yeah so thank you guys so much for watching yeah. and please if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and please take me to 1000 subscribers so yeah. i'm very close and please don't forget to head on to Gwendolyn's channel show her some love she has very good content guys thank you so much remember and see we rise by lifting others exactly see you guys in my next one bye bye, bye.